In this video, I'm gonna be explaining how to set up automated task reminders in monday.com. I'll be going through the setup and how to use the automations as well. Welcome to the channel, my name is Nick. Just before we get into the video, if you need any help at all setting up monday.com for your business, check out my website below, we would be delighted to help. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Like I just mentioned, in this video, I'm gonna be explaining how to create automated task reminders inside of monday.com. Now, as you can see here, I'm in my demo workspace and I'm just on an example board, but this can be done from anywhere inside of your monday.com system. So the first thing we are gonna need is a date column or a timeline column. Now, it's entirely up to you which one you use. It, both of these would work in this particular instance, but in this example, I've just got a date column. Now we've also got a person column which is like a, the, the user and we've also got a status column as you can see working on it stuck and done. So it's all pretty standard stuff. The first cool thing I wanna show you actually is if you go to your date column and go to the three dotted button, what you can do is go to settings and you can create or set this date as a deadline. So if you go ahead and press set as deadline, you then need to select the status column that is gonna tell you when the deadline is done or when it's been completed. And you can also assign the person as well, but that is optional. So if you go ahead and press connect columns, you can see now that you, this information will be on the my work page. The status when changed to done will put a line through the date and also a tick box. And if it's unstuck or any, uh, any alternative status that's not the completed status, it will give you this time frame of six days left or however many days left until that particular date is going to arrive. So that's the first thing. But of course, we want to automate reminders around the, the, uh, the date or around our to-do list. So what we want to do is go to automate in the top right-hand corner. And I recommend just creating a custom automation. You can do that from here. Or if you don't see this, just go to custom on the bottom left-hand side and just go, go to create custom automation. Now, what we want to do is firstly select our trigger and then we want to create our action. So our trigger is going to be when date arrives. So it should be under the most used area. If you don't see it, just go to more options and just search date arrives. OK, and go ahead and select that option. And then we want to select when. So when is going to be our trigger? When date arrives at 10 a.m. is the standard but we can also do days before or consequently days after. So you could get a reminder five days, or you could change it to weeks, or you can change it to months, and then you can select the before or after. So if we say five days before date arrives at, and then we can select the time that we get this notification, whether it be 9 a.m., 11 a.m., 12 p.m., whatever works best for you, let's leave it at 10 a.m., so we select that and then we need to select the actual date column. So in this instance, the project completion date. Then what we want to do is go ahead and add an additional rule to say, and only if the status, which is our status column, is not. And then we want to go and go ahead and add done. So we don't want to be given a project or a task reminder if the status has been completed. So if the status is not done and five days before project completion arrives, then we want to receive a notification. So then we can go ahead and move over to our action and we can use this drop down menu and we want to select the notify option. The alternative is you can actually just send an email to yourself if you'd like to. But if you do have notification settings set up correctly on monday.com, you'll be emailed anyway. So we want to go to notify. So just search at the top and then go ahead and select the notify option. So then we'll go ahead and select the notify option. And then this is where we can add text that will relate back to this particular particular task. So we can go ahead and write hi and then we can use the auto populate fields from the board as you can see. So you can go hi username and then we can go ahead and say task and then use the task name. So task item name is due in and then we could just write five days time. And um, then we and we just go thanks or whatever you want to write. So you can actually auto populate fields from the board, uh, which is very, very helpful. And then once you're happy, just press the done, done button. And then we just need to assign it to the people. So who is going to be receiving this particular notification? So you've got the people column, you've got team members, you can select it as yourself. It's entirely up to you. I'd recommend anyone that's in charge of that particular item should really be receiving the reminder. And then once you're happy, go ahead and press the create automation. 
And this is saying five days before project completion and only if status is not done, notify Nick Borman as he is the person associated with this particular item. Now, what we can do in addition to this is obviously create more. So we go ahead and press the three dotted button went back on the board automations area and duplicate this automation and say two days before just as another reminder and then go ahead and then change the notification i'll remember we put five so change that to two days um, and then you change the person if you'd like to depending on the severity of the task you could then um, remind someone else as well so then they can get involved um, but this is the basics of creating automated reminders inside of monday.com so hopefully this very short quick video has been of value to you and i will see you in a moment's time hopefully you now have all of your automated reminders set up fully functioning and making sure no one forgets any tasks if you have enjoyed the video or found it at all useful please consider giving it a like possibly even subscribing. If you have any additional questions at all, you're more than welcome to drop a comment below or you can email me as my details are in the description below and I'll do my absolute best to answer any questions you do have. Thank you ever so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.